Hi family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here today to review and talk about the new Kaya Cosmetics Golden Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is the newest baby to Kaya Cosmetics. Now if you know me and watch my videos, wait, wait, let's pick it up. You know that one of my most used palettes, most used palettes, one palette that I always really like and travel with is the first edition, the eyeshadow palette that's, I think it's called Bips Favorites or something. There is no name on the uh, palette itself, but it looks like this and it's being really, really loved. I know, I know if you can see here but i love this palette and i've been using it a lot a lot a lot a lot and i've been reviewing it putting pictures on my instagram and everywhere it's my holy grail love this palette now when i saw them coming out with a new palette i immediately knew that i was going to buy so the packaging let me just show you the packaging it's the same just that it's just that this one is a little bit more bronzed or deeper shade and it has the name on the palette itself but it's the same cardboard it's very nice very feels very expensive feels very nice this is also cruelty free made in italy uh, very nice you get how much you get here 1.5 grams per eyeshadow and yeah let's open it let's open it see how this baby looks they have a nice big mirror in here and this is the palette let me show you the first shade palette here so they're very similar I have to say they're very very similar but now the, the shades are not the same and I'm going to swatch both palettes so you can see if you're interested to compare this but if you're interested to see how I created this makeup look very easy and if you're interested to see uh, swatches of this palette then please keep on watching Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. A darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out.
I need to take all this. If I'm going to swatch, I didn't think this through, guys. Before I started, started filming, I hate my hair today. I hope you don't mind. I need to wash it. It's everywhere. So much gel in it. So, um, let's put it like this. Okay, let's swatch it. Let's swatch this beautiful baby. So, let's start with um, these shades. They are very buttery. There is some fallout when I use these shades. Um, let's see the swatches here. No, I didn't follow the roads right, but who cares? Who cares? Let's see. So I swatched a more love. Uh, Amor Love Honey and Sweetie. Now this is Yachtat, which means heart in Swedish. Um, babe, it's this one. Then we have Cutie. And next to the Cutie we have this dark brown cold shade, cold shade named Boo. So let's watch it. Very nice pigment, though uh, this I would like to swatch again. This Yachtat Love a Heart, I mean. There you go. And then we have the last road called uh, Habibi. Then we have Ghost, Hari, Hati, and Cherry. Cherry, I think it's called. Habibi. Goes, Goss, something, Hari, and we have Cherry. This is the swatches. See a lot of, they're very soft pressed, so. This is the swatches. I mean, very nice. Now I want to compare some people Ask me if the brown shades in this are the same as in this palette, but they are not. So I'm going to swatch them to show you guys. I'm going to take, uh, let's see, one, two, three. Cutie. Gus. And Habibi. Cutie, Gus, and Habibi in this new palette. And let's go to the first palette, Bips palette, and swatch the Santa Teresa. Very soft press. This is Stockholm. Yeah, oh, buttery. And we have Paris, which is also plummy shade. So. Now be using this palette more than this first, so of course the pigmentation is there now. As you can see, uh, these two are, this is more like satin finish than this one is more matte. These two look very similar, but this one is more cold undertone, this is more warm, and this one also has like a satin finish. Uh, they're not really the same texture. And this one is also more cold than this shade. So. They look very similar, but they are not the same shades. So they stay on the eyes the whole day. They are very pigmented. They're very easy to blend. What I like about them is when you when you swatch them, when, when you feel these shades with your fingers, they are like buttery. They are soft pressed, so you get a lot of pigment on the fingers. But they are buttery, buttery, soft. Uh, there is going to be some fallout, of course. These shimmer shades I'd really like, but I prefer using the fingers or with the brush when I use them. Uh, there will be fallout, but um, I, it doesn't bother me, actually. Uh, today I filmed the review of a foundation, so I applied the foundation before I went with the 
eyeshadows, which was a little bit of, of a mistake, but I forgot that I wanted to do a review of this palette today too. So I really love this palette. It reminds me uh, to, so much of the first palette, but just a little bit deeper, more like a fall, fall than this one. Uh, but I really like them. I think they go very nice together. This is my holy grail. I really love this palette. I've been using it a lot. A lot, lot, lot. And this one, I'm so happy to have it in my collection. This is very neutral, so it's nothing like, wow, it's nothing like new. I don't know if you need both of them, actually, if I have to be honest, because many of the shades, they do look, I think, they look similar on the eye, especially the new nude shades that you can use in the crease or deep up the crease a little bit. They look, they look very similar, but I, I think these two palettes really go nice together, work nice together, and... I'm definitely going to use it, definitely going to use it. Like I said, I love the first one. This one is also very beautiful. I'm very interested to see what Kaya Cosmetic is going to come out soon with, as what kind of palette they're going to come out with. I hope they're going to keep this kind of packaging because it's very nice. This is though very expensive palette, so I'm, so I'm going to put price and the information down below. It is expensive palette, but I think it's worth the money. The packaging is high quality, the eyeshadows are high quality, they are nice, they are blending beautifully, they are very beginner friendly. So guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you like this video, let me know down below what you think about this palette, do you want to see more makeup look with this palette? If you do, let me know down below, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, don't forget to enter my giveaway that's still going on on my channel, and i see you in my next video. I love you all, bye!